right, hello there. If you find your curtains are too narrow at your window and you can't get this lovely gather across the top when you pull them, then this is the job for you. But you do need some nice contrasting material, you need some extra header tape, and then you can make your curtains wider. So you need to go out and find the material that you want. Now this was a duvet colour that I bought from a charity shop for £3.50. And from that I've been able to add this to the end of this I put this on the end of this side and obviously I've done the same for the other curtain. So this was a real cheap way of making my curtains wider. If you don't want your curtains to be any wider and you don't want the hassle of putting on the header tape, this isn't the job for you. So I've taken this old duvet cover which is in very nice condition and um, as you've seen this is the edge that's on the curtain. So first of all I'm going to cut off all of the little poppers. And then I'm going to cut down the centre of this because that's where it folds over. I've left it double because that is going to be my lining. So this is a very quick, easy job. The other thing I want to do is, I want to, because it's so wide, I've got enough material there to make a cushion cover. So I've actually measured the length of my curtains and I'm going to cut that bottom piece off so I can make a cushion cover. But if you do decide to do that, allow enough hem so you can hem them underneath and obviously you need to turn down at the top for the tape to go on. Right, so my curtains measure 160 and then the seven on the turn up there and then two or three at the top. So for ease and simplicity, I've measured 170 down, folded it back at 170. This is what's gonna be going onto the curtaining. Folded it down, literally cut it across. Don't worry if the edge is jaggy because you've got plenty of material over. I've carved the edge here that was the buttons and the poppers and then I have measured from the edge of there which is 50 centimetres to the edge of here 50 and I'm now going to cut down there. So our charity shop duvet bargain is now looking a little bit like this. I've cut the bottom of this off which is going to make a fantastic cushion cover in a minute. I've cut the edge down here, so we now have two pieces the same, either side, this distance is the same as this one. I've measured the centre of this and I'm now just going to cut through the centre. You can tack it down, you can do it with tailor's chalk, I've just popped some pins in and I'm just going to cut this down the centre of here. Right, your best bet is to get your two pieces of duvet and actually sew them down the edge and then stop well before the end all right and just fasten off and don't worry too much about anything that's left over just leave it like this because we're aiming to have it looking like this when we finished so that means we have to cut this and then fold it up and then cut this and fold it up and then this bit here is folded in and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in a minute. So if you get that first bit done and then just stop before the end and take it out of your machine. This is your front of your curtain and this is the back. Lay it on your ironing board. Don't worry about this end where we haven't actually sewn it together yet. Don't worry about that little bit. Starting at the top of what will be your curtain. Allow that much. This is the back now. So this will fold into the back. It might be easier to see on this one that's already done. So that is your front of your curtain and that is your back. So what you do is you get a cloth and you press it down. You do need to press it. You do need to make sure you've got a nice firm crease down there and then it will hang nicely. So you press that one into place all the way down the edge and you'll have that line to follow so when you get to the end where you haven't sewn it to this back bit of your duvet it won't matter because you just follow the line all the way down so that you crease it all the way down. If you like to come in and down here now you can see now that that isn't the sewn bit but don't worry you're just folding it down you're just pressing it all the way down and when you get to this part here don't worry about the inside you're just going to press that down and then what you're going to do to make it a lot easier to manage you're going to get the top of your curtain and just sew it together 
all the way along. Don't worry you've got a rough edge, don't worry that one piece is now going to be bigger than the other piece, but you actually want to sew it all along the top. Here's one, the one I did earlier on, if I can find the top, and you just sew it all along the top. Don't worry it's a rough edge because that's going to be folded under with the header tape. So it doesn't matter how rough it is, we'll be measuring later on and making sure it's dead level. All right, you can see I've got a lot of material over. That will be cut off. It will all make more, a bit more sense in a minute. Right, so we now have, this is the inside. This is what will be our lining, the, the other side of the duvet. Sewn along the top there. So that is the two sides together. That is now the front and the back. Ignore that now, because you're going to fold that down. That's going to be where your header tape goes. Come to the bottom and the hem and you're only interested in the front of the material at the moment, the front of the curtain. Fold it over and iron it down or press it down and then hem it the right amount. So then you fold it up the amount of the curtains you already have and make sure if you, when you do them that they marry up, that they're the same. All right, double check and measure to make sure that that actually will fit your curtain that you've taken off of the uh, rail and then that's ready now to hem. Don't worry about the lining for the moment. We'll come to that in a minute. So now I'm going to actually sew that hem on. Now if you're going to do them on the machine and you've got a hemming stitch, pop it onto the hemming stitch because you don't really want the hem to show on the other side of the material. So if you haven't, you can do it by hand. I mean, I often do these sorts of jobs by hand, but I'm actually going to use this hemming stitch on here and then just run along and catch catch the hem so that it doesn't show and then it will look like this on the other side when they're hemmed you won't actually see it just like they are professionally done but you can do it by hand it's entirely up to you so I'm going to use this stitch here and I'm just going to catch that and run along there So you want it to look like this and at this point we're looking like this so what you do is you imagine that this is going to be sewn together here and then this bit needs to be folded up there so when it comes across it's the right way round if you look at that that way so therefore work out where don't worry that you've got all this material over it doesn't actually matter work out where you want your lining to end and then fold it up and then you put an iron crease all along there. So that's the first thing to do. Fold it where you want your hem and it's usually about that fast. You just get a nice edge and then you need to iron it. So that is now ironed crease. You've got your crease. This is your bottom crease. Double check that the measurement is still the same from the top of your curtain to your top of your lining if you want to. But generally if you've cut it correctly you can see the amount the fold you know in this case about eight inches so that is now folded that is that fold you then need to fold it again so that it marries onto this side so I want that hem to be this much so I'm now going to fold that again down there because that will be my hem and I'm now going to do another fold and iron that into place so we've got that fold and this fold. I prefer to do it this way around so I can see this fold and know that I'm trying to get it equidistance. Then when you've done that all the way along, turn it over because you're now going to cut this bit off. We don't want it. So give yourself enough of a turn in and then just cut this off the bottom because we don't need this bit. So this is now actually ready, you can see what I've done there, you fold that up there and you're literally going to machine a running stitch all the way down there and then that will be sewn on as the other side was. So you've now got these two pieces folded, you then go back to where you were and you just sew down the edge, so you carry on sewing down the edge from where you left off being careful it doesn't come undone because you've just had a, a raw end. You come all the way down and you stop when you get to where your lining finishes. And don't worry about this raw edge at the moment. Okay, so that's sewn down there and now you've got this raw edge. But because you folded this over, 
this is now in here. Well, you don't want that flapping around there because it doesn't look very nice. So the idea is to mitre this corner down. There's a very complicated way of doing this, but we're just trying to make it dead, dead simple. So you're just pushing it in with your thumb, and so you get it into the corner and hide all of these raw edges. So that is what you're trying to do there. It's a bit fiddly. There we are. And when you've got a nice straight line there, okay, then you iron it into place. Now, if you were doing this professionally, this would all be sewn from the inside. I'm just adding this on. This is a real quick, cheats way of doing it. I'm now just going to top stitch that down there and then just catch it there. And then when it's round this way, no one will ever know. I've stitched this down and then you've used your blind hemming and you've hemmed it across. Now, a professional dressmaker, curtain maker would cringe at this, but it's a very quick way of doing it and very simple and very effective. Get a nice neat corner. You don't have any stitches showing. If you don't have the machine, just catch it by hand very gently. And then, of course, you need to iron and press it to get a nice finish. Right, now, what you need to do, because this has been folded over, this side now is, is wider than the top piece. So if you lay it out, you need to cut this piece off now, so that they measure the same. They're measuring the same now, so what you need to do now is turn it inside out, because you're going to need to sew down the edge of the material now. Right, so you've now sewn the right sides together down this raw edge and now you need to turn it back in the right way so it's back in so you've got your curtain end to go on to your curtain so it's now looking like this ready to go on with a nice seam down here that doesn't show and then you need to iron it or press it out so you've sewn all down this edge and when you get to here you need to unpick just very little bit the hem you've already done because you're going to turn that in like that and sew it up that edge okay turn it back the right way I'm trying to get that corner because that's going to be your corner there that will show and then there you have it and then it will need pressing and just catch that little bit in there where you if you need to where you've had to take the hem away Right, so here's our curtain from the window, here's our extended curtain, we now want to sew that on top of there and I'm literally going to pop it on there and top stitch it down. Start from the bottom and then it doesn't matter what you've got left over at the top because we're going to turn it down and add our header tape. So start from the very bottom edge, lay it on and then sew that on top of there. I'll show you this one in here that's already been completed. That's sewn on top of there and then that's the finish you get because you're just sewing it together down there. So what you're doing is sewing that one and that one and then when you turn it over it looks like that. Remember when you do your curtain and you do the other curtain you're doing a mirror image so make sure that you get everything up the right way and you get your hem so that this matches the other side of the curtain. So here you are, this is the curtain, this is the added on and we have pinned it down there and I'm now going to sew that up that edge so when it's folded out it will be sewn together. Remember this is the cheats way of doing this, I'm not taking my header tape off, I've just bought some more header tape Fold the end under, be careful you catch these otherwise when you pull it through they will be lost and you won't get your gather and I'm going to iron that down so it's level with the top of the curtain so that's the first job to do and then sew your header tape on. So the heading tape's on and now I'm just pulling that through and then you pop your hooks in and then it's just got to go back up on the curtain pole. Okay, that's lovely. So I hope that you like what we've done. I think it really makes our front room look lovely. 
and go on, give yourself, give it a go. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Four other videos, Doriton33. Thank you.